Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Steve Holbrook, and I'm really excited about today's topic. Look, life is full of surprises, both good and bad. And sometimes we experience unexpected events that can be challenging to overcome, but it's important to remember that we can always find a way to adapt and overcome the unexpected. For myself, in 2009, only four short years after I started to business, at the age of 27, I ended up in the hospital for my Crohn's disease, where I ended up losing my rectum, my colon, and eight feet of my bowel. Life threw me a curveball that I never expected. This is one example of many in my life where I had to learn to overcome the unexpected. For everybody listening to my words right now, you're either in a storm that was unexpected or you're heading into a storm that's unexpected. The key is not to try and avoid these things that we can't control, but the key is to be prepared and ready for when it happens. In today's video, we will be discussing ways that you can overcome the unexpected events in your life. Point number one is acceptance. The first step to overcome the unexpected is acceptance. When we experience unexpected events, it's natural to feel shock and belief. However, it's essential to accept the situation as it is rather on dwelling what could have been. By accepting the unexpected, we free ourselves from the burden of denial and allow ourselves to move forward. We can start by acknowledging our feelings and taking time to process them. And once we've accepted the situation, we can begin to focus on finding solutions. There have been many points in my life where I've had hard times accepting what was going on in my life. The challenge with this phase is that there's no solution in sight. There wasn't even space for me to find the solution because I hadn't accepted what I needed to accept. It's only after acceptance that the solutions are found. For some, this takes longer than others, but understanding that this is a part of the process and it's going to be important next time you take on the unexpected because the last thing you want to do is get stuck in this phase for four years or even decades with no solution in sight. Secondly, positive attitude. The second way to overcome the unexpected is to maintain a positive attitude. It can be easy to fall into a negativity when faced with the unexpected events. However, maintaining a positive attitude can help us remain resilient and motivated. We can start by focusing on the things that we can control rather than the things we can't. We can also remind ourselves of the good things in our lives, such as our relationships, our health, things like that. By cultivating a positive attitude, we can find strength to overcome the unexpected events. In my experience, if you can maintain a positive attitude most of the time throughout your life, the challenge that you get faced with won't seem as big as they could have. People that typically have bad attitudes or a bit of a mopey energy to them always seem to get more affected by setbacks. So my advice with regard to this point is work on maintaining a positive attitude 365 days a year because some days you're going to need it when life sets you back. The third point, flexibility. The third way to overcome the unexpected is to be flexible. Unexpected events can disrupt our plans and routines, but being flexible can help us adapt to new situations. We can start by being open to change and looking for opportunities in unexpected events. For example, if we lose our job, we can use the opportunity to explore new career paths to start our own business. By being flexible, we can turn unexpected events into opportunities for growth. I feel it's important to be open and flexible in all areas of your life. So often we are quick to close the door on other people's opinions or new ideas and new thoughts. I find myself stuck in this pattern from time to time as well. But it's in those closed moments where we're the least happiest because we have the least amount of possibilities and it's almost like a closed loop mindset. The next key is support. The fourth way to overcome the unexpected is to seek support. It can be challenging to face unexpected events, especially alone. And seeking support can help help us feel less isolated. When we can start by reaching out to friends and families and sharing your experience with them. We can also seek professional support from therapists or support groups. But by seeking support, we gain a new perspective on our situation and we find new ways to cope. But don't wait until crisis hits to build your support network. If you're the kind of person that likes to isolate themselves and not build a community when things are good, what makes you think you'll be able to find support when things go bad? You see, everybody wants to reach out to people when they need help, but are you making yourself available to others in their time of need? Build strong relationships now. Build a community now. Don't wait for things to go bad in order to find that group of people. Your goal should be to build a positive and amazing group of people that you surround yourself with. And when things get tough, you can lean on them to get through it. The next key is this, self-care. The fifth way to overcome the unexpected is to prioritize self-care. Unexpected events can take a toll on your mental and physical health and self-care can help us maintain our well-being. We can start practicing healthy habits such as eating well, exercising, and getting enough sleep. We can also engage in activities that bring us joy such as hobbies, spending time with loved ones. By prioritizing self-care, we can build resiliency and cope better with unexpected events. So. 
Start prioritizing self-care now. What are you doing right now to take care of yourself? I want you to write a list of the 10 things that you do for yourself to prioritize yourself. If you can't put your own oxygen mask on first, you're gonna be no good to other people around you. Why do we always wait? until we're at rock bottom or till it's too late to start taking care of ourselves. I want you to prioritize yourself now before things get too dark and before the wheels fall off. My next point, problem solving. The sixth way to overcome the unexpected is to focus on problem solving. Unexpected events can be overwhelming, but by breaking them down into smaller problems, that can help us find the solutions. We can start by identifying the specific challenges we are facing and brainstorming possible solutions. We can also seek advice from others who are in similar situations. By focusing on problem solving, we can feel more in control and find new ways to overcome the unexpected. As soon as you go into problem solving mode, you start taking the emotions out of it. You're now thinking forward and not backwards. You're now opening your mind to solutions and things that might make it better over time. Tony Robbins says, progress is happiness and finding solutions for problems is progress. In essence, leading you back towards happiness. My next key, gratitude. The seventh and final way to overcome the unexpected is to practice gratitude. Unexpected events can make us feel like we've lost control, but by practicing gratitude, this can help us focus on what we have rather than what we've lost. We can start by writing down two or three things. What are we grateful for each day, no matter how small they are? By practicing gratitude, we can shift our perspective and find new ways to appreciate our lives. I recommend either buying a gratitude journal or keeping a small journal beside your bedside. You don't need to write in it every single day or every single morning unless you want to, but keep it beside you because when things get dark, you can open it up and remind yourself why you're so grateful. Unexpected events are part of our life's journey, but it's the preparation ahead of time that could help us get through them. I hope after this video, you guys have some ideas on how you can better prepare for the unexpected that's coming in your life. And as always, you guys, I really appreciate you being here. Take a moment, share this with your team, send me a comment or a message. And if you have any ideas on what you would like me to feel moving forward, I would love to hear from you. I will see you guys on the next one.